Hello, we're back at the village again. It's been just over two weeks since last time I were down. It was the, the party last time, I believe. People have been down again up probably this past weekend, as you can see it fire. There's loads of glass and cans again. There's half a tree being taken down over here. You probably just see it in the background. Uh, as usual, I'm going to put it to use. I'll show you what I'm going to do. So this trunk here has been cut down. I'm going to cut off all the limbs. I'm going to use them for stakes for this wall. Because they're not very secure, these. You know, they're a couple of year old now, so I'm going to change them. You can see they're rotting away. That one snapped. Let's see if I've got time to do all three walls, but we'll see how we get on. I want to do some weeding as well. I was humming an iron about bringing my spade, and I thought, oh, no, it's all right, I won't, I won't need it. Turns out I need it because there's quite a bit of weeds in the garden. But I'm going to pull all of that with my hand, sweep it all to the side. And like I said, I'm going to cut this tree up so I can make stakes for those walls. But first things first, brew time. Can't be a good old cup of milk for tea. Bloody lovely. Uh, the bushcraft chair has been taken in bits, looks like it's all come apart, all the slats for the seat have all fallen off and some of them were thrown in the fire in the log cabin, that needs putting back together again. I'm going to rake all the boundary to the boundary, rake it all, get it all weeded inside the boundary as well. I'm going to cut that tree stump up, hopefully if I've got time, and get some new stakes put up on these walls. Like we've been down here with an air rifle, holes in cans. I'm not sure we can down there as well, with a couple of holes in. So, this is the type of people we've got down here. Oh, goody! Let's hope they don't come down and start shooting little pellets, eh? There we go, fire's all done. All crap in there. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I've made eight stakes out of that tree. I've also made this a support for the bed in the big cabin. Just hit that into the ground, that'll support the uh, side branch, gets a bit shaky. But I'm going to hide them before any scoundrels find them, because I can't do it today on my own. So I'm thinking of all these cut off branches. If I cut them off here, make some stakes, I can put them around the perimeter, you know, just to hold the logs in place. So hopefully, when there's a flood next time, it won't wash them away. So I've been pretty busy since last time I checked in. I'll show you what I've done. I used the branches from that tree that had been cut down and made stakes to hold the perimeter in place. Just four in each log, two there, two there. As you can see, it just seems to tidy up a little bit. It just looks a bit better. I've also moved that tree on the outside of the perimeter. That was hard work. I made it all around here as well. Move this back uh, perimeter as well, it came forward a couple of centimetres. Move this log into place a bit better. Finish off around here. I changed this log so it fits a bit better in there. Right, I think I'll call you a deal. Been here about seven hours now. I think it's time to go to my girlfriend's and have some tea. Yeah, cracking day today, really enjoyed it. Thanks very much if you stuck around and watched all of this. Your support's very much appreciated. Hope to see you again very soon. Take care everybody.